Well, the search continues tonight for a missing 72 year old Vermont woman. Multiple search and rescue teams have been looking for Judith Giglio. She was last seen near her home in Westmore on Friday. Vermont State Police telling us her disappearance is not considered suspicious, but there is major concern about her health tonight. NBC 5's Lauren Granada spent the day in Westmore. She spoke with Judith's siblings today and Lauren, it's been a tough few days for this family. It really has been Brian and Alice. It's all they've been able to think about these last several days. Judith's brother and sister live just up the road from where Vermont State Police have set up their command post. They were with her when she went missing on Friday. And as you can imagine, they're worried sick about her going on day four of the search for Judith Giglio. It's been terrible. Not knowing where she is, not knowing where to look, not knowing what happened to her, not knowing if she's dead or alive. It's been terrible. Judith Giglio was last home with her brother and sister Friday afternoon at around 3.30, sitting on her front porch on Goodwin Mountain Lane in Westmore. Sitting there talking and, uh, you know, we had things to do and we went about our own ways and two hours later he yelled over, she's gone. Giglio was left alone for about 20 minutes on the front porch. When her brother went to check on her, she was gone. Her older sister says Judith's dementia has gotten worse. When she gets something in her head, that's what she focuses on and that's where she dwells on and, you know, maybe something was in her head. Giglio's declining health combined with the surrounding wilderness has made the search extremely hard. It's very difficult because this terrain is not, it's not easy. There's very few fields, which is the, which are the easy part. You know, there's very few roads and uh, there's even less houses the further up the road you get. Multiple agencies and worried neighbors make up an average of 50 searchers daily. They've covered over 2,600 acres since Friday using drones and canine teams. If you're out in the woods, uh, in the weather like this, in the rain, um, health will inevitably decline. So it's uh, every day that goes by is more and more critical. Giglio's sister losing hope with each day that passes. Uh, I don't have too much confidence at this point that, that we're going to find her alive anyway. If you see or find Judith Giglio, you, ask, you are asked to call 911 or Vermont State Police. We're live here in Westmore. Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.